1038. Number one. For music and entertainment. Kate, congratulations on Carol. It was heartbreakingly beautiful. Um, you agreed to be a part of this film without a director even being attached to it. What made you go, yep, yeah, this is the one for me? Well, I, I love Patricia Highsmith. I mean, I've always loved her writing and I read Phyllis Nagy's screenplay and just found it so interesting and compelling. And that was quite a while ago, six or seven years ago. And, you know, there were, there were people attached and disattached and it was up and on because it's been a very... It's a fragile piece and it, it really needed a very clear vision to make it into a film. So once Todd Haynes came on board as director, then it began to feel like something that we could all do together. There are a lot of pieces that need to make this film work, but one of them is chemistry between the two leads. Mm -hmm. I could watch you and Rooney. I thought you were brilliant together. Was that chemistry instantaneous or was that something you had to work on? I don't think you can manufacture chemistry. I think there's a, the, you know, Rooney is, um, we, we've gravitated towards similar directors and I think we have a similar aesthetic, but it's not something we talked about a lot. Uh, it was really a threesome, actually, with, with, with Todd, because you can have, you know, chemistry to burn, but if who's looking down the lens at you is whether it, that stuff is captured. So you can't manufacture it. And I think it just came out of the, uh, a simpatico between Todd and, and Rooney and I. So if that's been conveyed to an audience, that's great. When you're attached to a film for so long, you make it, you're happy with mm -hmm. it. What's that feeling like when you have to let go and go, OK, world, this is it? Well, Peter Brook, wonderful theatre director, said something really, which I think is extraordinary, that you hang on tightly, but you let go lightly. And I think that's, that's a wonderful thing about making a film. And we did make this quite a while ago, um, over 18 months ago, and that, you know, we were all passionate about it, but then... You, the, the process of um, it going into the editing room and then with the score, you know, I was in touch with that obviously because our production company Dirty Films is involved. But you start to separate yourself from the experience of making it and so you become more objective about it. Which is great because, I mean, objectively, I think Todd has made a really beautiful film. He really has. Um, mm. The outgoing boss of Film 4 said this took 11 years. To yes, make. it did take a long time. Do you think in that 11 years, the attitudes, because one thing that really frustrates me is, you know, studio bosses going, any films with females in the lead or female-centric stories mm. are not going to work at the box office. Mm. Do you think that attitude is finally starting to change? I think what's changing is that there's more um, female producers, independent producers, and more actors generating not necessarily work for themselves, but work that they're interested in. So I think there's, a more, there's a more diversity of voices. And there's a critical mass of women, not just in the film industry, but I think across all industries, saying, enough is enough. Let's stop talking about it. Let's change the language around this. And, and, and so I think it's... Um, the conversation's really boring. I think we just have to move on and, and start moving closer to equality, finally, yeah. in 2015. <laughs> I know, can you believe it's taken so long? Mm. Um, there's mm. a lot of Oscar buzz around this, especially for your performance in this role. Um, do the awards mean anything? I mean, you've won two. How important is the acknowledgement of your peers? It's incredible. I mean, when, when you even to attend the ceremony and be nominated, it's an extraordinary thing. And certainly coming out of drama school, it's not something I ever expected. And making a film like Carol, which is, is you know, has been a labour of, of, of love for everyone uh, involved. Um, it's not something that, it's not why we got into it. But I mean, I th I'm very, very proud of the film. And I think Rooney has done extraordinary work. I think the cinematography is extraordinary. Sandy Powell's costumes, I mean, all the elements. Um, uh, are really special. So the first port of call is that it finds an audience, which is, you know, what's great about being at the London Film Festival. So many people want to have a career in this business. What is the best piece of advice that you've ever received while working in this business? Uh, um, a, a director at drama school said to me, you know, if you're going to fail, fail gloriously. And I think it's all, we concentrate so much on success, but you, you, it's not much to learn from success. And you learn far more from your failures, I think. Well, Kate, such a pleasure meeting you. Um, and congratulations again Thank on the you. Film. Spin. 1038. Number one. For music and entertainment.